Shalom. This is Mary Omni from the World Government House of King David, Holy Covenant Constitutional Enforcer. I'm the woman of Galatians 4.4 and the woman of Revelations 12. Please refer to your Bible. And all I ask you to do is consider that I am who I say I am. I'm the mother of the New Jerusalem, and I'm the mother that gave birth to newborn King Emmanuel, February the 15th, 2011. This is a Republic Notice. The title of this Republic Notice is The Common Purpose Conspiracy Against American Soul Music. The Common Purpose Conspiracy Against American Soul Music. Ever since the days of the plantation where the call and response gave way to making the work days go quicker and to the suffering a little lighter, there has been an interest in black people and the soul of black people. There have always been an interest to try to own the souls of black folks. Now Deuteronomy 2868 said that we would go into a second Egypt. Second Egypt, meaning we will go into matter again, where our matter is enslaved. Okay, 28 Deuter 2868 Deuteronomy said, no one will buy you. You will be in bondage, but no one will buy you. And a lot of people don't know how to interpret that. Uh, what we need to understand is that if they say uh, you will be in bondage, but no one will buy you. That means no one will be able to buy your soul because your soul was already redeemed by the Mashiach. Christ already redeemed your soul. Christ already claimed your soul. And your soul belongs to the Mashiach who shed blood and died on the cross. So your soul will be redeemed. Okay? Therefore... When we came into the second Egypt, we came as the people of Judah Israelites from the kingdom of David. Now, everyone knows King David was a musician. He wrote the whole book of Psalms and, you know, it's different things in there and poems in there where he's calling the musicians together and everything. So, therefore, it's this great myth that white people have. In America that because black people suffered in America and they were somehow instrumental in black people suffering in America that they somehow influenced black people singing the blues or soul music or you know music of suffering gospel spirituals because they somehow feel well if I didn't you know, make them suffer if I didn't trample them, if I didn't infringe on their inalienable rights to the point of uh, them being renditioned, tortured, and an atrocity, they couldn't pull all this great soul, soul music out. That's a myth. That's a myth. Because first of all, America wasn't our first captivity. It was our eighth. We had the captivity of Egypt, and then we had minor captivities in between. So uh, America was our eighth captivity. And second of all, we are children of the spirit. That's what make us different from the flesh. So the spirit of soul music is a cosmic spirit of soul music. That means that it has an infinite, uh, a, a infinite time frame to it. So it's not garnered by the time or the suffering of a flesh in one place. Since we have had eight captivities, then that means that the spirit does not die. And that spirit, it was still in the cosmic of the captivities even before we came to America. And the spirit of the music that King David produced as a musician. And we are his heirs. We are King David heirs. So music is in our DNA. Psalms 87.2 The Lord loveth the gates of Zion more than all the dwellings of Jacob. 3. Glorious things are spoken of thee. 
O city of God, Selah. Psalms 87.4, I will make mention of Rahab Babylon to them that know me. Behold, Philistia and Tyre with Ethiopia, this man was born there. Psalms 87.5, and of Zion it shall be said, this and that man was born in her, and the highest himself shall establish her. 87.6 Psalms. The Lord shall count when he writeth up the people that this man was born there. Selah. Psalms 87.7. As well, the singers as the players on instruments shall be there. All my springs are in thee. So the Lord said all his springs are in thee. The players, the singers on the instruments. Okay. So therefore it's biblically written. That we were musicians because we're the players and we're the singers and we created the genre of music called jazz, R&B, soul, country, gospel, spiritual, pop, hip hop, rap, bebop, contemporary um, music of all sorts. So all the players of the instruments are in the springs of Zion. Zion is those who the musicians are born from they was born in her in other words they was already seated in her okay it's in the dna so therefore it was no whips or chains or anything white folks want to take credit for in helping blacks to suffer that made us produce good music it was already in her it was already in the spiritual dna of zion which is black american constitutional citizen judah america okay now the reason i want to get to get that out of the way is to talk about this common purpose of conspiracy against soul music this common purpose conspiracy of soul music seeks to take credit seeks to cover up the foundation seeks to cover up the fact that it was born in black people DNA they want to somehow turn the Grammy Awards into foreign interests which was the original music awards for America they want to serve foreign in corporate doctrine contracts with it they want to blow up parodying any kind of parody people who compare it like Amy Winehouse they want to tell us our soul music and this is a very important point listen to this they want to tell us our soul music is oldies oldies here we got the best music ever made on earth Motown Stax Rackler, Memphis Blues, Southern Blues, Southern Gospel, Southern R&B, Northern R&B. They want to tell us that this is called oldies. Meanwhile, whatever they think their music is with Beethoven and Shostakovsky or whoever it is, they just call theirs classic. But they done propagandizes us, our music, as old music. If it's in the DNA and it's written biblically, there is no age to it. If it says in the Bible that it's written in her and the DNA, then it's written biblically. That means it's music of the cosmos. That means it is no time limit to it to call it an oldie. An oldie is a way to throw it away. So they can then sneak behind you and get all the royalties for it and you gain no benefits from it. So they can keep on sneaking, 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 stealing, 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 popping up in commercial, commercial, movies, movies, movies. So you'll take all this high frequency music and then put it with low frequency calcified pineal gland people and make it look like it's all a part of them. And then you'll take a series like scandal where it have a black woman as the lead actress and tell her she can't use soul music because she owe some incorporate doctrine contractor some royalty of black music as if he got the rights to soul
He got the right to own black folk soul like you can own really the cosmic mother, like you can really own the Shekinah, even though blacks got the supreme contract, trademark, copyright on all music on this soil on any law on this soil on any act on this soil done with their U.S. corporate mule or with their constitution. So you want to come sideways and swoop in this way and that way and call it oldies, but you want to grab at it and make profit off of it anytime you can but you wanted to be called it oh you want to call it oldies because it was high frequency music and it was raising black men to their god status and then a monkey wrench was threw in for integration and then then it started being dismantled because the black man then started running with foreign women and the cosmic mother took back her soul energy her shekinah and then the music went down. He could no longer hardly sing soul because he wasn't with his soul, which was the black woman. To sing soul, you got to be with your soul. Your soul is the black woman. Otherwise, you just become a parrot, just like the white people become a parrot, like Elvis Presley and Amy Winehouse. And like I said... Uh, in Elvis, why we should see him as the king is because he is the poster boy of the evils of them trying to common purpose, conspiracy, black people out of high frequency music that was forging them back into their God status at a quicker pace than they wanted. So then they threw all this other music in and when every time an artist started to try to produce something of social conscious or positive, whether in rap or any genre, they threw that away and they say, no, you're our slave. We won't let you come in unless you produce something that calls your woman bitches and keep them in a low frequency and talk about you going to beat somebody ass like Emmett Till and stuff like that. Because, see, this is the common purpose conspiracy of making sure black people never reach their God status. Soul music was the real Shekinah of the cosmic mother goddess. And that's why everybody love it. It takes you to the cosmos. It takes you to the heart and the soul of the real truth of who black folks are. They're the namesake. And it takes you to the truth of the kingdom of David. And therefore, they want to kind of harness that. They want to harness that. They want to own it, but they don't buy Supreme Contracts. So all they do is really, their whole game is frightening them black people off, killing them for their music. They, they, they want to kill for this Shekinah. They, uh, uh, the music industry is a very high risk industry for black folks. So they want you to call it oldies, but yet they always having all these freaky accidents to make sure those who sing soul music are killed off. So they want to kill black people for it, but they want to call it oldies. If it's so, if it's so old, why do you have to, uh, uh, why did some of these artists are dying so easily? Why, why do you, why are you scared for them to live and do this music? Are you scared they're going to come back to their Shekinah, that the revolution is going to come around of the, of the planet and cosmic balance? And if we're going to come to find out this was music that was commissioned by the kingdom of David and the Most High and was written biblically? So this is what I want to leave you with. There is no such thing as old music. Music is timeless as the cosmic. Musical notes was written in the cosmos. If the Bible is everlasting, then our music is everlasting. There is biblical classic. So that's what we should call our music. Biblical classic soul music, not oldies. Don't let them degrade us and throw us away like something shriveled up. It's called biblical classic high frequency music. Biblical classic high frequency music. Either high frequency music or biblical classic soul music. This is Mary Omni from the House of King David. Shalom.